Hi friends, Benita from Knitting in the Mitten. And um, you might hear my dad mowing lawn in the backyard. He's mowing his lawn. And he also mows a part of my lawn that's attached to his lawn because he likes to mow lawn. And um, that means it's gonna be my turn to mow later today. And sorry, mom, my hair is in my face. She hates that. Um, but <laughs> I haven't clipped it back yet today. So um, today I am working on another pair of socks. Um, this pair of socks, I have one done and the other one is on the needles ready for me to um, make the heel gusset. And that is a long process for this particular pattern. So in the meantime, I have this sock and this little clip is just telling me where the um, start of the round is because, um, yeah, long story. But the pattern I'm using is called Vanilla Socks. And um, I have never made this pattern before, but as you may know, I am a little obsessed with toe up sock knitting right now. And the interesting thing about this pattern is that it has an afterthought heel. So um, I have never made a sock with an afterthought heel. Um, so this is a brand new idea for me, but let me show you. So typically I would have started knitting a heel gusset much sooner, but now for this sock, um, you just knit straight. You have to increase here for a little bit. So, um, you knit with some waste yarn. So this yarn here that's different than the rest will likely be pulled out later. So for one row you knit with this extra yarn and then you put the stitches back on your needle and you knit them again with the real yarn so that um, later when I take that off um, I will have live stitches on either side to add the heel. So I'm very excited to see how that works and then I'm guessing I just continue on here to make the um, cuff but we will see and then I go back later to do the heel but we'll see I got to read the pattern all right I have never done this um, kind of sock before so basically I knit a big tube and now I am supposed to um, where I put uh, picked up stitches on either side of the waist yarn and then I'm supposed to pull out the waste yarn and hope my sock doesn't unravel because I'm, I'm hoping I picked up the stitches in the right place. So we'll see what happens. I think it worked. I only dropped one stitch and I found it. And um, the only thing I'm concerned about is on this side it seems like there's an awfully big gap, but we'll see what happens. So now I have to add the heel. All right, well, I finished my heel, my afterthought heel. Um, this sock was, I would say, much easier than typical toe-up socks because you don't have to do short rows, but I think it also doesn't quite, it's, it's not quite as form-fitting as the other socks. So. If you want to make socks but you don't want to do short rows, then um, I recommend this pattern. Um, but if you want a sock that really fits super well, maybe not, um, maybe stick with short rows. So this is the Vanilla Socks pattern from Nurturing Fibers. And um, like I said, it was, it was it's an easier pattern to follow um, with the Afterthought heel. But, um, yeah, and the striping actually worked much better than I thought it would for the afterthought heel. So it was kind of interesting to do. I thought I'd give you an update on my Camino Bubbles shawl that I'm knitting. I just realized I've been doing part of it wrong this entire time, but I'm going to continue doing it wrong so it's consistent. <laughs> so um, it's very long, but it's not long enough. Um, to wrap around my body so um, I, I'm on the second ball of yarn but I realized I've been doing the yarn overs backwards this entire time so um, 
I realized it because um, I had a yarn over on something else, so I had looked it up and realized um, I'm doing it wrong. So um, it should look like this with the little holes right there in between the bubbles. So I don't know if you can see it, but it should have holes right there. And mine, mine does not normally have holes. Also on the end the edge here, mine um, looks like this, and it's supposed to look like this with a little hole. So yeah, I've been doing it wrong this entire time, and so except for that row. And so I'm gonna go back to doing the yarn over backwards just so it's consistent, but yeah. Kind of silly, but that's what happened. And now I know what happens if you do a backwards yarn over when you're supposed to do a regular yarn over. So um, instead of looking like that, it looks like that. So yeah, that would be really pretty if I did it right. Um, <laughs> but it'll be pretty anyway.